Hey guys, what's up? It's Jules here for WhatCulture.com and today I want to talk to you about puzzles. Now, we love puzzles here at What Culture, from Sudoku to crosswords to finding out what is going to be the lethal dose of hairspray that will finally kill Josh Brown. But the thing is, I don't think we're actually all that clever, mainly because we have to inhale all of Josh Brown's hairspray. Now what this is, is the cryptogram puzzle post made by a friend of mine, Jack Fallows. Now it's a beautifully illustrated series of puzzles that interconnect with each other. Once you get a question right, it will give you a clue to the next puzzle, so on and so forth until you reach a final answer. But the question is, is what culture clever enough to be able to do this? I know I am, seeing as I've done quite a few of them. Not to brag, I'm definitely bragging. So let's find out. I've got two teams of two people, Team Scott and Team Not. But just to clarify, Scott Tailford from the Gaming Channel won't be on this one because he said that he didn't want to be on it. So what I've done is gathered the wonderful minds that make up this culture of what to see who is the least best not dumb, aka smart. They have 20 minutes to see how far they can go through this exact puzzle post, and the winner will get nothing. But you will, because I actually have a subscription for one of you lucky people, and I'll detail that at the end of the video. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> okay, so team one, I am starting your time of 20 minutes now. <gasps> Do it. I've got to put the glass Oh no, in. I've ripped everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you've actually ripped the envelope. Puzzle failure. <laughs> okay, there's okay. a spooky man. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this the first one then? How many are there? There are seven to oh, eight. Oh, good God. One. Is it who gets the furthest wins? Yep. Wait, wait. Well, how do we know which one's first? Wait, it has the a number at the top. So yeah, you're, failing, you're failing on the first time. Okay, so <laughs> spring 2017, April, the river. Welcome to Cryptogram Puzzle Post, a monthly arts, gaming, and storytelling experiment inspired by witchcraft, alchemy, and nature. In your hands, you will find a series of numbered puzzles, one to seven. The solution to the first puzzle will give you a clue about how to solve the second, and so on until you reach the final answer. Submit your answer to the email below, blah, 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 blah. Uh, is this just a poem? Come on! That's, well, that's gonna be our clue, isn't it? The sun cut clouds yep. were doubled over the dancing horizon. Creaking wood and slurring water bloomed around the vessel. As uh, we drifted as feathers, we grew as moss, we died as dead as shadows think, in the breaking of the dawn. That was, the that was dumb. Okay. okay. Anna sees something reflected in the river. Okay, we need a mirror. We can look at it in this thing. That's right, we'll do it. Make sure all four runes are present in every row, column, and chain. I'll oh, good grief. Do. Okay, so we've got four, four, four by four. Yeah, it's four by four. Got it. Fing <laughs> <laughs> sass. I was trying to be, I was trying to be like, you we've know, got supportive. Along here, and then diagonal across, diagonal down. Oh, no, no, diagonal. And then same again below it. It's two of these yeah. recliners and, and then, then corners. This. Make sure all four runes are present in every row, column, and chain. It's Sudoku. So it's essentially Sudoku. So why are these ones blue? So we've already actually, so we've already got, we've already got this one, yeah. which is like that. We've got the weird little. So we've got a leafy boy, back triangle back. boy, a suitcase, and that's some sh. Which is what that is. <laughs> and this thing. Okay. So we're given a start. So we've got to make sure that each of them are in each row. So, so yeah, we'll do so it like Sudoku. So we've got the leafy boy. So we can be any one of these. That has to be a triangle. It can't be this one. That has to be a triangle because the triangle's already in that row. So that one has to be a triangle. Have you guys done quite a lot of puzzles like this before? I've done Sudoku and stuff, but nothing. Like, this is this is really cool. Uh, this, is, this is my first time actually. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, suitcase has to be here because it can't be. Yeah. Uh, on here, so this is the suitcase. And then we've got four here, so what's the last one? Brackets? Uh, the brackets down here. Got the triangle is here. What's missing from here? The brackets. Right, so that is the first it's puzzle first done. Puzzle. Ah, can you confirm that you've definitely used all of the runes in there? Just yeah. make sure. Yeah, all four. Fantastic. If these are the runes, we have used them. Cool, so what clue do you think that's given you to your next puzzle? <laughs> Oh wait! Oh wait! So we got these three. We got these ones that are highlighted. Ah. Like we've got the upside down triangle. Bingo! We've got stamp. the suitcase, and we've got the brackets just here. Cool. So we'll move move on those three. Two, then. Those are two. Ooh, oh, hello! They're already here. Anna checks her grimoire Ooh. to decipher the symbols. Oh, this is vermintide stuff here. Mm. So these are the clues here. So a storm approaches. Use the fallen oak as shelter from the thundering rain. So is that the rain and that the oak? And you have to. That's how the symbols fit together. So that would make a combined symbol. 
Unless we're just choosing one don't of these. Like sucky mouth oh wait, can, can we can we look further through the um, pages and just see what you we can do? look as far through the pages okay. as you want. So here we are, number three. I don't know if that will help. But what does? I mean, I'm trying to think about like because it's, it's giving us a map and it says fallen oak oh. and stuff like that. So do we need to do, choose where to go? Oh, what you think this is like a map for this? So if, so do we have triangle suitcase brackets in order? Triangle suitcase brackets. Yeah. Yeah. A stranger is close by. Stand still and move the earth to come together. Well, this, that's, wow. what it, that's what it reads. Read this from top to bottom. Yeah. We've got upside down triangle suitcase brackets, and this one says um, triangle suitcase brackets. A stranger is close by. Stand still and move the earth to come together. Does it Can say we fold the paper? So we're, so we're in the. We're, fold the paper to make the earth come together. Ooh. Julian? Ooh. Hey man, you can fold it, you can do whatever you want. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> not a. Uh... Okay, so. Oh, Anna's here then. Yeah. So we stay still and move the. Earth to come together, but which way do we fold it? That would the... be the stranger, yes. Yeah, so oh, yes! Because that's a question mark. So, so I, assume I, that's... I don't want to crease it. You're going to have to, I'm <gasps> afraid. That's clues? That's going to give them a, that's gonna give them a clue. Can we photocopy this? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time. Ah. But if you, can, if you hold them together lightly, you might not need to. Is that a symbol? <gasps> do we have a symbol just here? Okay, so that's lots of triangles. It's lots and lots of triangles, isn't it? So what does this mean? What is this? Is what, that's, that's number three, so this is number four. I'm going to assume, because we're getting lots and lots of triangles here, there's oh. going to be the triangle. Because, I mean, that is that is just triangles, isn't it? Whoop. That's just lots of triangles. Well, it's not the leaf. That's for certain. That's not the leaf. It, could it be that one? No. It looks like that. I'm going to assume it's yeah, all you the can, triangles. You can see, it in you can the, see the triangles. Yeah, so it's going to be swift shadows, slippery deeds, and shocking acts. Okay. Slippery. We well, won't rule break the spell, so we're going to assume it's the triangle room. Oh, look at that frog! <gasps> look at that little, little tentacle duck. head, man! <laughs> Anna passes many creatures gliding down the stream. Nature comes to life and whispers words in her ear. Star. So I'm going to assume that's a stepping stone to number six. You guys are doing it exceptionally well, by the way. Okay. You have 12 minutes left. Star. And you're nearing the final bits. So we've got a frog. A Wait. A beetle, an axitotl, I forgot how to actually say it, snail, fish, dragonfly, eel. I think it's duck. more these, the words, because these better represent these. But like, if you look here, that's like, that's like sun with, with an E. So, what animal do you think that it represents? Like, are you looking for something that represents something? Are we looking for one animal? Or are you looking for Oh, uh, wait, animals? oh. Ooh. Next took out, like, for example, the, the, the leaf says, next took out and final bills. Could that mean a duck if it was that one? But we're looking at. Swift shadows and slippery deeds, eel? shocking act, eel. So the moon. Eel. But we have four, we have three moons. So what happens if you put the words together? Does that? This. Ooh, hello. So his ears, Ert asked. A right middle next to each other. Top con du. Hef du ni ni. Hef du ni. Bear in mind the first two together make the word listen. Ooh. You listen. guys getting into this then? Oh, 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 oh! Listen to Def Who? Listen, listen to, to the, Def Who? Listen to the first. N D L. Second. N L Y. Listen to the first. Second. Second. Four. Fourteenth. And last words only. The second and fourteenth. So we've got. Well, yeah, so the listen clues to the lead first. on. So the clues lead on. He's done a good job, hasn't he? Alighting. So first, alighting the fourteenth. So alighting the U. Alighting you. Mm, yeah. Maybe the right idea. Maybe the wrong passage. Oh, okay. The boatman speaks. Listen to what he says. Okay, so in. Listen to the first, second, fourteenth, and last word only in the rushing water. Well done! Is that it? That is the answer. That is the answer. Boy, I think so, it's supposed to be hard, Jules. Please oh, hey, listen, man, it was just a challenge. And you did it with, I can't tell, you have eight minutes left. Mm. Eight minutes. So it took us 12 minutes to do that. 12 minutes to do that. Well done, guys. You've set the benchmark pretty high, I have to say. But the question is is it going to be enough to beat those darnery or those damn scots? scots. Ah! <laughs> right, well, let's find out. Uh, do you guys feel pretty confident? I nope. <laughs> and okay, here we fucking call that. Right. Okay. Right. So, <laughs> what 
There's just a bunch of things. So do we just go through? All right, we go through number one. Okay. So Anna sees something reflected in the river. Do we have a mirror? <laughs> uh, oh, the table's mirrored, but not very well. <laughs> Make sure all four runes are present in every row, column, and chair. Chair. Okay. Chair. Oh. <laughs> row. Chain. Chain. Okay, so we need ah, to put, okay, we need to, fill we need to put all these, um, like a Sudoku. Right, okay. 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 So we need to draw this little yeah, map. Yeah, we don't want to draw right. on this. Is it four by four? We have two of them already. Okay. doke um, So we can figure out this one, because that one's like there. Mm -hmm. So these two can either be... This one or this one? Let me just do the chain real quick. Doop, doop. Are you guys quite avid puzzlers? No. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is, I should have paid more attention. Just remember, you can't have uh, images in the same row, column, or chain. Oh, so oh. that's a row. Okay, that's definitely the handbag okay, then. So that, yeah, that's the handbag. Handy okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Only got 20 minutes. Right, okay. Okay. So this was the handbag, right? Yes. yes. Right, that's that. So the bottom one here that then the is the triangle yeah. as well. Okay. Cracking. Okay, so okay, we've so got a sequence. I feel like we can work out this one and this one. Yes, we because can. that one has to be... Handbag or Joe? That one has to be Joe. It has to be and Joe. And that's the handbag there. Excellent show. Uh, Joe top right. And then fishtail in there. Boom! Okay. Right. All right. We've got the sequence. So, so do you just... What do we do now? Well, what, what does this... So do we go to number two now? Okay, so that's number one. Oh, okay. The second one says Anna checks her grimoire to decipher the symbols. If these blue box uh, circles have any significance, it's the upside down triangle, the one that looks like a handbag, and Joe, which is bang, bang, bang. This one here. The stranger is close by, stand still, and watch the earth to come together. Move now, to come together. maybe look at the next puzzle in advance to figure oh, out what that might be a clue to. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> A stranger is close by. Stand still, move the earth to come together. Okay, so... Is there a stranger on this? These have got to mean something. Yes, they do. Describe what's on the map for the people at home. Symbols. Symbols. <laughs> um, Anything else? We're, we're playing dumb. We actually know exactly what yeah. it means. <laughs> Complete it. Um, right, so there's a map. See, I wonder, because this says, um, use the fallen oak as shelter. There's the fallen oak. There's, okay, from the thundering rain. Someone is in danger, move the current. Stranger is close. Here's the, there's a current on the river. Watch the, and move the earth to come together. Is <clears throat> Some of the puzzles are tangible, some of them aren't. That's not like a map of that, is it? Oh, good shout. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So your symbols, like uh, what are they? Uh, representing that grimoire. Language? I don't. I don't understand. Could it be anything else? Uh, symbols? Like that? Could it be? Let's have a quick look. So we'll do. We'll do left to right. So that would be. The one looks like a well. That one looks like a handbag. It can't be that because that's never first. So it can't be. That. Oh, okay. So the order has to either be. Um, from this one to this one to this one, or from this one to this one to this one, but it can't be okay. So we've yeah. got that. We've, okay, we've so definitely got. So your right. definite answer is that's number two. Stand still and move the earth to come together. Okay, how would you apply that to that map? Stand still. So where is she? Anna's there. Anna's there. there. Mm -hmm. Move the earth. Where's she trying to get to? Do we fold the paper? <sighs> And I know that the not Scots did not get this far because the paper is I not folded. folded any paper, have they? <laughs> okay, so we fold the paper? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and then what? And then, like, I mean, that's great. I don't maybe, know. Maybe move to the next puzzle and see if it has anything any relevant to it. Good boy. Anna meets the boatman who offers safe passage down the river. Is there a dock or something? So, you folded the paper, did the paper reveal anything when you folded it? No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what if we folded the other way? Like, with this on the outside. Is that, is that, oh, is I see. Something? We have to make it that it looks like she is there. So you have to fold it sort of like... Um, Do the thing. Kind of like that, almost. Ah, oh, what on earth is that? 
Does that look like anything? Does that look like jaw? It definitely looks like it's the triangle. It's hey, the triangle. It's the triangle. Does it looks like the triangle. Yes. Queen. Queen. <laughs> I almost said king for some reason. Okay. Probably so, don't want to say that word on camera in this office. So that's that's the rune that breaks the spell. Swift okay. shadows, slippery deeds, and shocking acts. Quick, do something shocking. Ah. <laughs> we should definitely listen to the axolotl. Let's do that. It looks like a mudkip, therefore we should definitely listen to it that. Does. So he's the moon. Looks like a wee Tony. <laughs> he's the moon, right? Oh, but that eel long boy is also a moon. <laughs> God, there's a few long. There's another long boy. Okay. Gotta be careful of identifying our boys here. Right. So we want sw swift shadows, slippery deeds, and sl shocking acts. So right. eel. It's the shocking. eel then, yeah. Okay, it's slippery so and swift and shocking. Why don't we should use this? We want to write down um, moon is the last. We've got moon earth. Nature is whisper in words. What the have we got? <laughs> 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 Never has that been more appropriate. <laughs> it's in there, man. I can see it. If we go, which one of these is a star? <gasps> None of them. That I would no. That's a moon. Right, that's a moon. That's the that's moon. a moon. Yeah, that's a sun. Yeah, crescent boy. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh ah no. right. Okay, so we need to find us, oh, but they're all in different order. Oh my goodness. Our slippery deeds must be a fish. Oh, yeah. All right. So we need... What What did we have so far? We had... Swift shadows. I don't swift know. Shadows. Who is a swift shadow? Must be the bug. Um, um, final bills. Duck. It's got a bill. A ducky boy. <laughs> got the duck out. Um, and falling down. Falling down. Swift shadows, slippery deeds, and oh, shocking Oh, okay. Hat. So all of them are the eel? All so of them in the eel. It's just the eel. It's just the eel. It's just the okay. Moon. Okay. So, so the eel is the moon. Oh, the moon things. The moon things. Okay. List. Ah, here we go. Listen. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's write it down uh, in my terrible handwriting. Uh, L i s t e n. Yeah. So first word is is in. In. Um, and last is water. And the fourteenth, I'm guessing, is going to be the. Fourteen is rushing. Listen. So, in the rushing, in the rushing water. water. Yay! Yay! Tony Boone! Well done! That is it. In the rushing water is the correct Me. answer. I yeah. did it. Do. Let's do it. That was Let's do another one. Yeah! So that is the fantastic news that you have completed the puzzle post. How does it feel? That was amazing. Tremendous. Did you enjoy it? That was so good. Deeply confusing, but really good. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the good news. The bad news is, is that the other team actually also completed it. They oh. purposefully didn't fold the paper because they didn't want to give you any clues. Oh. And they had eight minutes to spare. You had three minutes oh, to okay. spare. Oh, so, but today. you both completed yeah. it. So Still well done, done guys. Thank you so Still much done. for taking part in that. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and there we have it. Ash and Rich are the winners of the Cryptogram Puzzle Post What Culture Challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did from behind the camera indeed. And if you want to challenge yourself, then you can do so by either going and buying one of these yourself or you can find out what's inside of this little envelope. I'll give you a clue. It's a free issue of your choice. Then all you've got to do is go to Twitter, follow at What Culture, the main account, and the gaming one, and why not the wrestling one as well, and myself at RetroJ with a zero, because I'll be the one that's posting up a little question of my own when this video drops and you can win a free issue. Let me know what you thought about this down in the comments section below, whether or not you'd like to see us do more challenges like this. And as always, I've been Jules, you've been awesome, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.